Hey guys, I have here a 25 year old Nintendo 64 and I want to hook it up, see if it still works, play some games and figure out what to do with it. So first things first here is to see what gear I have. Of course, I have the Nintendo 64 console, which they call the control deck down here. Uh, I do have the expansion pack, which adds more memory. These things are actually pretty rare. I was doing a little bit of research on this and it's actually worth quite a bit. Then we have controllers. I have two of them. The power supply, which is this cartridge thing that plugs into the back of the console. An interesting design. And a AV cable. And then a whole bunch of games here. We have Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Mario Tennis, Perfect Dark, Duke Nukem, a uh, kind of damaged copy of Paper Mario, Mario Party 64, uh, NFL Blitz, Bomberman Hero, 007, and the uh, pretty popular Donkey Kong 64. So uh, let's hook this thing up and see if it works and uh, go from there. So we'll get this plugged into power, like so. This entire uh, cartridge power supply actually slots into the back of the N64 like that. We'll make sure it's getting power. There we go, the light comes on red, so that's good. We're using a modern TCL 55-inch uh, TV here, uh, which is obviously not what the Nintendo 64 was designed for. Uh, but fortunately, this TV does still have the composite uh, red, white, yellow connectors on the back, so we'll plug that in and uh, see how it looks on a big 4K TV. Now we just need to plug this in and turn on the TV. We'll go to that analog input and uh, looks like we got some signal, something weird going on, but let's uh, put a game in and fire this up and see what happens. Let's start out with probably my favorite Nintendo 64 game, even though I've barely played it, is Super Mario 64. So let's put this cartridge in, turn on the power, and uh, see if anything happens. Look at that. Excellent. Sounds like we've got a little bit of crackliness in the audio there, but uh, things are working, so let's plug in a controller. Okay, controller is connected, so let's uh, go ahead and reboot the console since it didn't detect the controller. So we will do that now. See if things come back online. There we go, that's good. Press start. And look at that. It works. The N64 lives. Cool. So we're gonna test out the rest of these games and uh, make sure they all work. So right now we've still got Super Mario 64 in here. Uh, so let's try Mario Tennis next. And nothing. Let's try the old blowing it trick. Looks like still nothing, so we're gonna have to set that aside. Okay, Bomberman Hero. Hey, we got something. There it is. Cool. Let's call that a uh, game that works. NFL Blitz. There it is. 007.
we got something. Insert controller. I'll oh, press start. Okay. Cool. Paper Mario. Looks like nothing. That's unfortunate. Mario Party. I believe this is the first Mario Party, which is pretty cool. I hope it works. It looks like it's not going to. There we go. So blowing in it does work. Just a couple more here. We have Duke Nuko. Oops. Looks like we got something. Nope, the color pack. I think that's referring to the uh, memory card here. Cool. Perfect dark. sharper than the other games. Okay. And Donkey Kong. This game I've read requires the little red expansion packet here in okay. order for it to even run. It's cool music. Last but not least, Mario Kart. This is probably the one I'm the most excited about. This uh, tied with uh, Super Mario 64. Look at that, fires right up, excellent. Here's our games that did work, which is most of them. And then our uh, two that did not work are Mario Tennis and this damaged copy of Paper Mario. So I did some research and found out that sometimes you can get these things working by cleaning the contacts on the cartridge here. Uh, so I've got some rubbing alcohol and I've got some uh, cotton swabs. So let's try cleaning this out and see if that helps. The cartridge here wasn't too gross, but you can see there was some kind of gray debris uh, that did come off of those contacts, so we'll see if it works this time. I'm also going to clean our poor Paper Mario here, uh, just to see if there's any off chance that uh, contact cleaning might revive this guy. Okay, let's try Mario Tennis again. I need to uh, wake up the TV up here. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, last but certainly not least, we will try Paper Mario, uh, but I really don't have high expectations for this one, even after cleaning it. So let's uh, fire this up and nothing so far. I don't think this one's gonna work. Here's something else that I'm gonna try, which is just a super simple air duster uh, that I can spray in here and see if maybe that helps clean the slot out. Let's go ahead and dust out this slot here. I have realized that despite being really good at Mario Kart on the uh, Switch, I'm really bad at Mario Kart on the Nintendo 64. I guess the controls are a little different and the handling is a little different, but uh, I didn't think I was going to be in fifth place playing against the computers.
I just wanted to note how cool the sound effects and voice effects are in Mario Kart and a lot of these other games. And I know the modern games have this too, but it really stood out to me. Especially the uh, selecting Mario Grand Prix here. Uh, and then this select player and uh, just little sound bites like that I feel like are really cool. Well, thank you for following along as I played with the Nintendo 64. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with this thing because it's really cool, but I also don't think I'm ever gonna play it. So if any of you guys really know what this thing is worth or uh, have comments or ideas of uh, what to do with it, please leave comments or send me a message. Otherwise, I will see you next time.